Okay, and another passage, Matthew 28, 18. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Okay, now here, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. This is grace. That Jesus is all the authority in heaven and on earth. And He gives us that authority. He has that authority. That is His nature and His grace. That He wants to share that authority. Go therefore and make disciples. Now this is the law. That what we do. So don't think of the law as something negative. The law is positive, but it should not be the, you know, Christians should not be just living in the law. We should be living in the grace of God to motivate us to obey the law. So go and make disciples of all nations and baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So these are all the law. Make disciples and baptize them and teach them to observe all things that I've command, commanded you. So this is also the law to teach them to the. Great Commission is not just about evangelism. It's also about discipleship, raising up their spiritual life, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. So these three parts are all the law. And then I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. Then this is the promise of God. This is grace. Then I'll be with you always, even to the end of age. I'll be with you always. Now, it's implied that when Jesus is with us, He'll give us strength, He'll give us blessings, He'll provide for us, and He'll remember everything we do for Him, and He will give us opportunities so that we can serve God more. Okay, the outline. Jesus has all authority, and He gives us authority to follow the Great Commission. So, first, Jesus has all authority, so He, ha he is, you know, uh, He's almighty. He has authority to save people. He has authority also to give us the ne necessary blessings and the provision for us to receive His blessings. So He has all authority and uh, that and then we, he, can, he will give us the authority and the strength to preach the gospel. When Jesus converts us, He gives us the motivation to save souls. When we obey, He will be with us always and He will reward us. Now this is the uh, grace of God. He will convert us and He gives us the motivation to save souls. As Christians, we all want to save souls. When we obey, this is the law, when we obey, He will be with us always. Then is grace. So law and grace together. When we obey, then He will be with us always. Actually, now many promises has the law and the grace there that seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, that is the law. And all these things will be given to us. That is grace. That uh, for those who love Him, love Him is law. That things have been prepared for Him that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, and the human mind cannot think of. This is grace. So for those people who love God, that God has prepared things that they cannot imagine, that is grace. You notice that in many pr promises that there is the law and God's grace. Uh, for instance, uh, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. That has the promise of eternal life. But given to whom? To those who believe in Him. So there is the law also that those people who believe in Him. So. The Bible doesn't promise us when we do nothing, we'll receive the blessing. It's, now, faith is not actually doing something. It's a way to receive. When we receive, when we trust in God, then we'll have eternal life. But there's always a part we do. The part we do is when we trust in God, then He'll give us eternal life. Uh, now, some people don't say that faith is uh, the law. It's it's fine because what is what they say uh, this is correct also that faith is just how we receive how we trust in God and receive 
so it's not like obeying the law it's just receive but there's still something we do there's always a part that we do that we, what we do is we trust in God and then we'll have eternal life so it's not all grace uh, for sure faith is not grace you can say it falls into a, an area of receiving blessings but it's still not grace faith is not grace but God give us faith that is grace our faith is not grace because grace is what God does for us so when Jesus converts us he gives us a motivation to save souls when we obey he'll be with us always so here is the law and then when we obey he'll be with us always and he'll reward us why many Christians don't follow the Great Commission the reason is they are lazy they don't care about people and they think that I just get salvation for myself I don't want to pay the price to help people they think that they are getting salvation and also get you know eternal life and also getting the world but actually they will suffer more when they don't follow God so I hope we all follow God willingly and preach the gospel and God will remember us and how can we be motivated to follow the Great Commission so we say God says he desires mercy when we have mercy upon people and say people God is very happy with us for sure he will he will bless our life and he will reward us and he will give us blessings in this life and in the future so that is the one motivation and other motivation is that uh, we have received this grace therefore we want to share it so I've received this grace so this is um, um, his grace his blessings I have received this grace I'm so blessed therefore I want to preach the gospel so this is like appreciation of God's grace appreciation is God's law is law appreciation of God's grace that's grace appreciating that God has sent give us salvation therefore I want to save people so this motivation has two parts the law appreciate what God has done for us secondly what God has done for us is grace so I, when I appreciate that, then I want to bless other people and bring them the gospel. And then, the, now, we should also have the negative uh, reminder from the law when people don't preach the gospel, woe to them. So the Bible does say that. So I'm not saying grace is the only motivation. In each time, each time when we preach the gospel, when we preach any message, we give them motivation from the grace and also motivation from the law reminder from the law warning from the law if they don't obey they will bear consequences they will face destruction so we can have both but the main motivation should be from grace the main motivation should be that God loves us so much God cares about us and God remembers us, us. He, got, he give us the motivation, He give us the ability, the strength, the talents so that we can serve God. And He will remember everything I do for Him and He will reward us in this life and in the future. So these are the grace that motivate us to follow God. I hope you all get this very clear now that in your assignment that I can see that you do it correctly.